Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at this week's pre orders, and they are about to be live. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. All right, so I'm in the queue. We got less than a minute left until we're into the store here, getting ready to take a look at this week's pre orders. And the big one this week, and the reason for the queue is Kill Team Nightmare is launching. And as we know, over the last couple of years, all of the Kill Team sets have been extremely popular and extremely underproduced. Hence the reason for the queue, and we've already seen that it has sold out relatively quickly in other countries and online stores around the world. So that being said, when I first got into the queue, it quoted me a 52 minute wait time. I've been in the queue for about 11 minutes and I'm less than a minute until I'm up. So that does mean that the initial quote time was about five times as long as it actually took me to get through the queue, which means probably a lot of people were either in and out or jumped into the queue and then just quit they didn't want to wait out the like 50 minutes or whatever that they got quoted so we're going to shop we're going to new and exclusive we'll scroll down here and take a look at this week's pre-orders so just running down the line we've got a bunch of work eye stuff coming out this week we've got the kill team nightmare and then also the blood bowl gnome stuff so let's take a look at those so first we have the work eye gorger maw pack 60 bucks for those bad boys and these are some super awesome new ogres the ogre gorgers Previously only available in the Hunter and Hunted set, and now they're going to be available individually as well. 60 bucks for those bad boys. Super cool models. And then the other half of that set was the Warkai Wildercorp Hunters. So these are the Cities of Sigmar, the opposing force from that Hunter and Hunted set right here, and they are 60 bucks as well. Very, very cool models. This was an awesome set, and you can still find it a lot of places as well, and I would definitely recommend picking up Hunter and Hunted over the individual sets if you're interested in both them or potentially like just one of them and then also the terrain piece all right and then moving along here we have the ravaged lands ruined realm shaper so i do want to take a look at this one and see exactly what's in the set obviously we've only seen this one picture so far and this was like some previous edition kill team terrain missing a lot of the other stuff in the set here but priced at 112 dollars Okay, and it does look like it is just the terrain pieces. So I was curious, as in the past, we have seen these come with like tokens and stuff as well. But it does specifically list off all the stuff here, and it is only the actual terrain itself. So no tokens or board or anything in this set for 112 bucks. I definitely recommend, if you can still get the old set that all this came in, I would go that route. But this is some cool terrain nonetheless. All right, and then moving on here, we've got a new terrain set, the Ravage Lands Ruined Spawning Pool. And again, double checking, it is the exact same scenario. It is just the terrain in this set right here. And this is the third repack we've seen so far of this terrain. We originally saw the Scales of Talaxis set, which is your best option. That's $112. And up until recently, it was still available in the Games Workshop store. I'm not sure if it still is. But $112 for that. It came with all three of the big pieces of terrain and then two scatter terrain sets as well. Didn't come with this sprue right here. That was from a previous Warkai set but included all of your tokens, game board, and cards for what amounted to like $30 more than this. So that is a much, much better deal. We also saw recently these individual pieces of terrain repacked at 60 bucks a piece. Obviously, that is the by far worst deal that you can get. But this is basically just three terrain sprues right here for 85 bucks. Much better than paying 60 bucks for a single terrain sprue, but not nearly as good as getting all five terrain sprues, the game board, the cards, and the tokens for 112 in the Scales of Talaxis box set. So we are definitely seeing quite a bit of price inflation from Games Workshop or Shrinkflation, however you want to word it. Uh, but let's take a look at the Kill Team Nightmare set. So the Kill Team Salvation set, which was the previous version of this, was $130. So this one has went up by $10. It does have this large piece of terrain in it, which is pretty cool. And then also you're going to have the book, the actual cards for the individual Kill Teams themselves, and then two new Kill Teams. The Mandrakes, which is a completely new kit available for Kill Team or 40k. And then also... The Night Lords, which is basically the Chaos Legionaries kit with the upgrade frame to make them into Night Lords. So super cool kit right here. I've got a couple of these bad boys on order. Can't wait to get a hold of them. The Night Lords are absolutely amazing. Even considering this is just an upgrade frame, these models are absolutely awesome. Definitely a massive fan of these. And then on top of that, we finally have plastic Mandrakes for the first time ever. So these were originally available in metal and then in resin. And now we have brand new sculpts available in plastic. These are basically like your scouts or deep strike blockers for 40k. They're also a brand new kill team for the actual game kill team. And I got to say, these are absolutely awesome. Definitely going to be very, very popular. Both these kill teams are going to be really cool, really popular and in high demand. And then also we know with these box sets that they are basically like early access to these teams. 
And then additionally, you're going to have way early access to the actual book itself, which is always great to get a hold of the rules and everything like that. But we've seen like various iterations where they've released the same rules either for free digitally or in the White Dwarf, which is definitely cool on their part. But most importantly, the Salvation set was like the introduction of the actual like Kill Team cards for the first time outside of like White Dwarf publications and stuff like that. And then also the tokens as well. And after we saw the individual kill teams from that set, the Scouts and Striking Scorpions launched as like their own teams. We saw that they did not offer at all any way to get a hold of the actual tokens or cards. So if you're one of those players that does like these game aids, if you're after the tokens and the cards, if you're strictly looking to play kill team, I 100% would recommend picking up this box set because that is the only way to access these. All right, so moving on to take a look at the terrain pieces. So this is like really nice terrain piece right here. It's pretty large and everything, and it is actually two sprues. It's one big single priest sprue right here, and then all of your like accessories on a separate sprue. And just for like a size like scale comparison, the ferrotonic furnace is the size of this circular piece right here in diameter. So the ferrotonic furnace fits like perfectly on top of this, and then some of the other kill team pieces will fit on top of these other ones here. So this is a really cool set, a really nice piece of terrain, and I would imagine this is gonna be a fairly chunky box. So moving along, we see the Mandrake sprues, all three of those. And then we've got our Night Lords upgrade sprues as well. So two of those right there, or like two half sprues to make a single sprue. And then we have the actual like reg regular Legionary sprues, three of those. So quite a bit of plastic in this box set. Obviously early access to the terrain piece, to both of these new kill teams, and then obviously the book as well. And then we know exclusive access to the actual cards and tokens for these kill teams. This has been selling out all over the country, all over the world. So if you are interested in the Kill Team Nightmare set, if you're after any of these specific models, specifically the tokens, the cards, the book, all that stuff, I would 100% recommend grabbing up your copy before they're gone. As we know in the past that the Kill Team stuff has been under extremely high demand and in almost every case over the last few years, been massively underproduced. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. All right, and then moving on here, we've got quite a bit of stuff for Blood Bowl. We have the Blood Bowl Gnomes Team Card Pack, $33.50 for those. The new dice set, really like the colors on these, $20.50. These would be perfect for like some Night Lord dice as well. And then we've got the Gnome Blood Bowl Team double-sided game board and pitch, 55 bucks for that bad boy. And then we have the Spike Journal, either digital EPUB or the actual journal itself, issue 17, $15, and that's going to have all of the Gnome rules inside. And then we have our star player, Rodney Roachbait, 36 bucks. He is an expert kit in Forge World Resin right there. And then we have the Gnome Tree Man, 42 bucks for him in plastic. Super cool. Definitely love the Gnomes models right here. Definitely glad to see them being introduced into the range. And then the actual Gnome Blood Bowl team themselves, 50 bucks for those bad boys. Super cool sculpts. The first time we've seen Gnomes in Games Workshops range for literally decades. And then moving along here, we have the new Warcry set, Pyre and Flood. So we do see a little bit of price inflation from the Kill Team set, but we did not see the Pyre and Flood set go up in price. So 130 bucks still for this includes your book, your cards, all your ability cards, two new war vans, and then a terrain piece as well. Part of the justification behind this, maybe not specifically that the Kill Team set went up in price because of the actual demand for it, but also because the terrain piece is so much larger. And I think there is some justification with that. But we see our new elves right here. And then moving along, we see the Night Haunt as well. Once again, some cool stuff. We've got our book. We've got our terrain piece right here. And then just the actual sprues themselves. So super cool stuff right here. Definitely glad to see some new stuff coming out here. Single sprue of terrain. And of course, $130 price tag on this. In the past with like the Wildercorp Hunters and the Hunter Hunted set and terrain and everything, we have not seen those selling out. So I don't think there's nearly as much demand or like FOMO set up for like the Pyre and Flood Warcry stuff. And that being said, that is like the majority of the new stuff this week. Obviously, the Kill Team stuff is what everybody's after. But we have Endrin Har, the Riven Hound in Expert Kit, 56 bucks for him. We've got our various different transfer sheets from last week, the White Dwarf. And then we've got a couple of the new books as well. Shadow of the Eighth in paperback for $17.99. And then Death World in paperback for $17.99. 
And then we got a bunch of the other stuff that came out last week, quite a bit of stuff for Legion Imperialis, some Necromunda, all kinds of good stuff. And then of course, those limited edition models. So super cool, super exciting. I know I personally am very excited for Kill Team Nightmare. This has been one of the most long awaited sets for a while. Night Lords are obviously very, very cool. And then the Mandrakes coming in plastic is massive for all of the Drukari players out there, especially as they have recently gotten that new detachment that makes them actually viable in 40k and arguably competitive. So let me know what you're most excited about. Did you pick up one of these nightmare sets? Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I cannot wait to get my nightmare on. And I'm out of here.